how to fix FPS drops in Fortnite Chapter 5. Ready to ditch those Fortnite Chapter 5 FPS drops? You're in for a treat! This video will supercharge your PC for max FPS. Big map, new changes, no worries! We've got your settings and specs covered. If you're on console, it is capped at 61 FPS, but for PC, it's game on and it'll depend on your specs. Are you guys ready? Like, comment, subscribe if this helps. Let's dive in. Alright, first off, head over to your settings. Navigate to system, then click on display. Scroll all the way down until you spot graphics settings. Now, make sure it says desktop app. Click on browse and locate your Fortnite game. Follow this path. Local disk, program files, epic games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64. Inside, you'll find Fortnite Client Win64 Shipping. This file is crucial and you'll see it a lot in this video. Select that file and click Add. Boom! It's now in your desktop app. Next, hit Options and a pop-up shows up. Click on High Performance. Now, depending on your PC, you could go for power saving, but we want those sweet FPS so stick to high performance. Hit Save and you're all set. You can use this trick for any app or game to squeeze out the most FPS. Alright, let's check out your PC's task manager for the next tip. If you're not sure how to do that, just head to your taskbar down here, give it a right click and you should spot Task Manager. Click on that. Once you're in, navigate to Performance and pay attention to these numbers right here. So this first one is your uptime, telling how long your PC has been running. Mine says 2 hours, which is pretty long, but I've seen people with uptimes almost hitting a month. I know, sounds a bit crazy, but blame it on Windows and its fast startup option. Now, this fast startup thing puts your PC in a kind of hibernation mode instead of shutting it down completely even though you think you're powering it off. Head down to your search bar, type in Control Panel, and click on System and Security. From there, hit up Power Options, then go to choose what the power button does. Now, here's a little security icon. Click on Change Settings that are currently unavailable. Look for the Turn on Fast Startup option. It's right here. This thing is supposed to speed up your PC startup, but we're not really feeling it, so uncheck that box. Hit Save Changes, and now, when you shut down your PC, your uptime should say 0 minutes. Imagine leaving your PC on for days on end. Sure, it can mess with your FPS. So take this tip seriously and avoid being like me with a PC on for a straight 2 hours. Alright, for this next trick, fire up the Epic Games Launcher. See those 3 dots? Click on them, head to Manage, and then hit up the File option. Now, dive into your Fortnite game files. Fortnite game, binaries, Win64. Scroll down until you spot Fortnite client, Win64 shipping. Time for some right-click action. Go to Properties then hit up Compatibility. Here's the deal. Click Disable Full Screen Optimizations. Next, cruise over to Change High DPI Settings. Click on Override High DPI Scaling Behavior. Quick tip, if you didn't know, play Fortnite in full screen gives you the least delay and maxes out your FPS. So, set it up to always start in full screen mode and enjoy that top-notch FPS every time you launch Fortnite. Easy peasy! Okay, for this next tip, let's dig into your system a bit. Open up your command prompt, but make sure you run it as an administrator. Type in SFC slash scan now. Now, watch as it does a system-wide scan. Essentially, it's on the lookout for any wonky or corrupted game files lurking on your PC. Just let it do its thing. It'll take a bit, but not forever. Now, if you're in the same boat as me and it finds some messed up files, no biggie. It's just going to patch them up. Easy peasy, right? So, give your system a checkup and let it sort out any file troubles. Alright, this one's for those of you rolling with not so great PCs. Open up Discord, head to Settings, then Advanced, and find Hardware Acceleration. Flip that switch off. Basically, what this feature does is it taps into your GPU to smoothen out Discord, but the catch is, it might cause frame drops, especially on less powerful PCs. The description even says, turn this off if you're experiencing frame drops, so it's not just me saying it. If your PC is mid to high tier, you might not even notice the difference, but for the budget-friendly folks, consider giving it a shot. Oh, and a quick heads up, you can do a similar thing for Google Chrome, but honestly, I wouldn't recommend it. Turning off hardware acceleration for Chrome tends to make it run way worse. Alright, for the next move, hop back into the Epic Games launcher, click on those three dots and head to Options. 
Here's a quick win. Uncheck that high resolution textures box. It's a hefty 15 gigabytes. This isn't about more FPS. It'll also cut down on input delay. Now, if you're all about that performance mode life, you can take it a step further and turn off DirectX 12 shaders. But I get it. With the recent season and those snazzy graphic updates, some folks are back on the DirectX 12 train. Once you've made your choices, hit up a game verification to keep things tidy. Oh, and don't forget that second verification for good measure. Keep those graphic settings and PC settings on point. Even those optional updates can toss in a bit of FPS goodness. That wraps it up for today, folks. If these tips helped you out, throw a like, drop a comment, and hit subscribe for more. Cheers!